Hello party people. Today I'm going to show you how to use present and how to input sound fonts. Okay. If you're using Studio One, sound fonts are essential. So first of all, create a new song, click on an empty song, whatever, then click OK. Now you click on instruments and your screen should look something like this. So let's put some presents in your life. <laughs> That sounds like Santa Claus. Um, I'm going to give you an example of what the stuff sounds like. Obviously, it doesn't really sound that good because, you know, I'm not recording with a good microphone right now. But in the, in the headphones and when you're like mixing and mastering your song, this is going to sound sick. Uh, but to use presents, uh, you just drag it in here, and um, this is obviously a, a blank, a blank piano roll. Um, so if you don't know how to use a piano roll, this is probably pretty basic. If you use Studio One, obviously you get the paint tool, you drag it, click on this, and boom, you have a piano roll. Now, there's two things you're gonna need, okay, if you're trying to find sound fonts. The sad part is you have to navigate and find it on the internet. Uh, you can simply just Google where to find some good sound fonts and you'll definitely find some. Uh, but I have links below on good sound fonts that I use. Uh, so I really don't think you guys need me to show you how to download them. It's pretty simple. Okay, let's just assume that you know how to download sound fonts and don't leave this video yet. Don't just click on the links and download the stuff because there's something you need to know. As far as sound fonts is concerned, I found a killer sound font bank and check it out. Look, look, what, all, look what all it comes with. This is called the 0.361 MG Gremlin, whatever. It's an awesome bank. So we're gonna write, we're gonna click it right here. And look how look at all this all the sounds it comes with. It's ridiculous. It's a huge library of sounds. So I have I have the link to the description where you can find it at. And but don't download it yet. Like I said, I have something to tell you before you go download it. And there are gonna be some people that didn't listen to a word I said, and they're gonna come back and wonder why did it not work? Okay. Now, yeah, it's, it's sick how many like songs and I mean how many sounds you have and the other thing you're going to need is choir. If you make beats, choir is essential. Check it out. Skills. Anyways, um, yeah, I have a link to download the male choir and I had the link to download the huge bank this is pretty much the two things you're gonna need if you're gonna be making beats if you want a particular sound font then you can just search for it but if you have these two man you're pretty set this even has a ukulele sound font you know how hard it was to find a ukulele sound font and this thing has it but anyways um, when you're downloading you should be able to download the choir this thing right here it's pretty simple to download it, it, you download it pretty fast but downloading this bank took me I think five hours and the thing about it uh, when you go to the Pacific website and you actually download it it takes like <sighs> hold on I guess I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm talking about so bear with me here it comes okay um, your screen probably looks a little different than mine if you clicked on the link uh, my computer was loading too slow so I just clicked on something random uh, but these are what the downloads are going to look like. Um, your screen is going to say 036.1, something like that. It's pretty obvious what you click on. And uh, you click on the bank or whatever. And uh, then you scroll down. You're going to see like a lot of BS stuff. And it's, it's easy to get confused like what to click on to download. And I hate when people post stuff like this. And I, you know, I don't know what to click on. So then you click on download. You scroll down, you should, all, all downloads should look the same. And then you pick uh, which 
optimal download site is near you. Okay, and you know uh, I live in Arkansas, so Dallas is closest to me. Then you click download. Now, obviously, no one's gonna buy VIP credit, so you just click on the free download skills, and um, you have to wait 85 seconds. Now, the thing about this, you can only on this certain particular website, you can only download. You only you only have one download attempt a day. So if this download does not work, you have to wait till tomorrow to try it again. I know it's BS. So it takes so long and it's so easy for the download to be interrupted. So if you're going to download this file and it's totally worth it, you should just download some type of auto clicker and let your computer download in peace. Like don't, because if your screen like, if your computer goes to sleep, then your download will be paused and there's no way you can resume your download. It says right here, you cannot resume your download. So you have to make sure that your computer is running solid for like five hours. And I don't even recommend like going on YouTube wasting time. If, if I were you, I would just download some auto clicker. And if you're not, you know what an auto clicker is? It pretty much clicks, clicks the mouse for you. And uh, you just wait, probably do it overnight. And um, once it's, once it downloads and everything's fine okay so yeah it's gonna look like this except it's gonna have the old 36 bank I'm sorry I, I didn't show you exactly what it looks like but you just wait for it to download it takes freaking forever and um, now let's say you get past the downloading part Okay, if you get past the downloading part, there's a certain way you have to input the sound file. First of all, you have to locate it from your documents. Um, and now, keep in mind, your documents are going to be a bit different than mine's. But yeah, you have to locate it in your documents. And once you find uh, the thing that you just downloaded, you simply just drag it in here, and boom, it's going to let go, and it's going to be in there. Very, very simple. So you find the sound font and just drag it in there. Skills. Now, obviously, this isn't working for me because some of these aren't even sound fonts, but I'm just giving you guys a general idea of what you do. So, like I said, it took me like a week to download this this program because it kept pausing but you know I downloaded a little auto clicker and I let it run overnight and everything when I woke up the next morning it was finished downloading and everything went smoothly if you have some issues downloading it let me know in the comment sections and uh, yeah that's all about presence and sound fonts all the links are in the description uh, if you have any other questions about Studio One let me know